Hey, it's Spence from lunchflows.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a single product custom layout when using Lunchflows. Now, many people are using either full site editing or a custom page builder, in which case, if you've already got the capabilities to do custom single product layouts, you may not wanna use Lunchflows for this at all. Instead, you'll use Lunchflows for the mechanical capabilities that it brings to the products, but not for the design layout. So if that's you and you've already got a plugin or a theme or a full site editing uh, template maker that arranges this for you, simply start out by going into Launch Flow's main options, global options, and go to the bottom and disable the Launch Flow's product layout functionality. This will still allow you to use all of the mechanical ability. However, in this event, I'm gonna show you with a traditional theme like Astra, how this capability works for laying out a custom product. Let's go ahead and first make a new product, and it could be any kind of product at all. It doesn't make a difference. Let's say a uh, new example product. And I'll just, for our today purposes, say it's a $100 product. Now with launch flows, you can configure as many custom checkout pages or next steps as you wish, or you can send them to the one that you've already created, in this case, the default checkout page. Be sure to configure that. You might also want to set up a thank you page where somebody goes after they bought the product, or that could be the next step, like maybe taking them to a course. Next, we wanna go ahead and configure uh, probably the visuals of this page. So in this case with Astra, I'm gonna say no sidebar, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the uh, boxed content look and feel. Makes no difference, you can use whatever you want. And then finally, in the actual product itself, let's add an image so that we have something to look at. I just have a camera picture here from Pexels. So now that we've configured it, the important thing to look at is in the Launch Flows tab, select product template. If you don't want to change the default Astra product layout, leave this as a original template. Otherwise, if you want to customize it, you have several other choices. I'll address in a second. First, let's look at the product if we leave it as the default template. When we open this product up, it's exactly as it would be if we were just using the default Astra theme. There's nothing changed at all, and that's fine. That's what most people want. Let's go back and edit it to change it to the default template for launch flows. If we switch to LF default template, likewise, nothing is immediately going to change because what we've done is just engaged the software ready for you to make some choices. If we go ahead and let's open this in a new tab, we can see that it looks exactly as it was before. Now let's do the magic. Here, because we've engaged the default template of launch flows, we can actually change some things. And the way that it moves around is essentially, you start out with the default product layout at the top, then you have the content area, and then if we're doing a checkout, you have the checkout space below. And you can mix and match the stuff in the middle. So if I were to change the layout, I can move the default components down into the mixing area. So for example, if I type slash product and I put, let's say, the um, product images, this is going to take that image at the top and move it down at the bottom where I can lay it out. I might actually want to use something like a column so that I don't have it be the full width of the page. So let me put a two width column and I'm gonna drag the image to the right hand side. When I update this, and we preview it, watch what happens. This image is gonna move down below over to the right where it can be mixed together. Okay, now if you wanna save some time, you can actually use one of our pre-made, um, if I click here, one of our pre-made patterns where we've got some of the product blocks already laid out for you. So for example, uh, if we go down here, two column product, I can save a lot of time and just dump all of those into place ready to be used. Now in this case, I don't really wanna have all of them on the right side, but just to prove a point, watch what happens when I do that. All of the components of the product will be all arranged on the right-hand side where I can mix and match and change the look and feel if I want, you see? Okay, so now let's say, what if I don't wanna bother with having all of the stuff on the page? I'd rather start with a blank slate and only build what I wanna see. Well, that's easy too. So first of all, let's delete what I've put in here so that we start over from scratch. And when you wanna build from scratch, I recommend you use the LF blank template. Now what this does is it puts the product pieces in place 
ready to be moved around, but it hides them unless you say specifically to show them. So watch what happens. When I save it now, the page will actually be blank unless or until I put the pieces back in. So let's put the pieces back in. I'm gonna go and use that pattern that dumps all the pieces in. Saves me the trouble of doing it manually. Now I've got a nice two column layout. And by the way, if I want, I can, I don't want the product title there. I can move the product title over the top of the image. Okay, watch what happens now. Now the things I moved into place, including the title over here, are where I want them to be. If I want to move the title back down and I put it below the add to cart button for some weird reason, I can do that. And all you need to do is have one tab open to the front and you can see here, add to cart. So that's how you handle the three most popular options with a traditional theme. Either don't do it at all. And by the way, even if you have Astra, you don't have to globally disable things. Like I said, you can just leave original template nothing will change. You can even use the launch flows default template and nothing will change unless you add stuff in. Or you can use the blank template, in which case you can start from scratch. And then here's the neat thing. Once you've created this layout, you can simply use the capabilities of Gutenberg to save this entire product layout, right? So you go over here to the product and now you click on the three tabs and you can, for example, say, copy all content. Now you can use a free plugin to save this content as a pattern, or you can put it on another website by copying and pasting and so forth. So the things that you lay out and create one time can be available for you to use again and again and again. There's a slightly different method if you're using full site editing because these layouts have to be done in a different location. But in general, this is just a nice accessory that I've added to launch flows for those people who are not using some other way to customize the product template or the product layout, because it's, it's an interesting way you can combine this with the capabilities of adding a checkout, for example. So let's say I took this layout and I wanted to put a checkout in. I just check the checkbox here, and now at the bottom of my page is the checkout capability. Watch what happens here. So now if I scroll down, now I can have the product and the checkout all in one place where I can mix and match them into beautiful arrangements. Finally, you can see at patterns.lunchflows, we've got lots of free patterns that are available as an inspiration or a starting point, and they're generic. So you can use these, even though I'm using Cadence, and put them into an Astra theme, and they'll pick up all of the capabilities of the Astra design components uh, because they're native Gutenberg stuff. This is Spence. I'll see you in the next video.